Hey hey guys, it's Hassi Trades here and oh my god, what a day today guys. What a day. Um with CPI coming in at 7.7%, um I'm actually shocked. I'm completely shocked with this news. Um but um what a turn of events with Nasdaq being up nearly 7% plus the SPY being up 5%. Um but yeah, um, the CPI today showed that, um, as you can see from this report, um, it shows signs of cooling uh, with inflation uh, coming down um, from the expected price of 7.9 to 8%. We are now down to 7.7%. Um, again, signs of recovery and signs of a glimmer of hope maybe. But let's not get too ahead of ourselves, guys, because one day in the stock market it won't show an automatic recovery. One day doesn't show that we are going to automatically reverse and go for uh, another run to all time highs. But um, especially with uh, Powell uh, constantly saying he won't slow down on the rate hikes and he will still continue to be aggressive. So uh, that's something we have to look forward to. Are we going to increase by 0.5% or is he going to move it up to 0.75% uh, for the interest rates? Um, but yeah, um, let's quickly highlight SPY guys. And um, as I mentioned earlier uh, in the yesterday's video, um, the best day uh, was uh, during the July, no sorry, the worst day was during the September um, 30, 13 movement where SPY moved down from 414 all the way down to uh, 391. But today, um, let's just highlight this area. Um, we went from the lower 373 zone all the way up until uh, 395 um, again if you look here guys um, the S&P 500 moved up by 5.54% amazing what a uh, turnaround um, but yeah with CPI being predicted at 7.9 um, to 8% uh, us law getting 7.7% um, shows that costs are coming down uh, and we are less likely uh, to increase rates but like I argued uh, earlier, that doesn't mean anything because Powell himself did come out and say that we won't ease on the rates. And he believes an aggressive approach is what is needed for the coming months. So this is what um, makes me even more excited for the month of December. What are the reports going to be for November? Um, what is going to uh, change with the uh, CPI during this month? And it all boils down to this last month. The CPI... Um, shoot up or does it uh, cool down and it's going to be key key um but all in all and i'm being completely honest with you um i don't really care as a day trader um, this doesn't have huge impact on me um of course for long-term investors uh, this is key so i'm just going to show you some data on today um something key to note guys nasdaq up by 7.35 percent and if you look at the key data here this is the biggest gain this year on NASDAQ at 7.35%. Uh, the one before that was during uh, July, 27th of July, which was 4%. But this was a 3% shoot up from the previous high of the year. Again, if you look at the volume, which is a key indicator, 1.39 billion volume. And then again with the S&P 500 up 5%. Um, again, uh, it was something which um, shocked me uh, because yesterday I did predict um, us to come in between 8.2% to 8.4% um, of course I'm not a um, professional by no means but I don't think a lot of people did uh, predict it to be this low um, so obviously the markets did rally today uh, and again like I said don't get your hopes up guys give it a good week or so uh, let's see how the market balances out um, but yeah guys just look at this we're all the way down here and we're now we're up here we are approaching a key area uh in this 4000 area do we break this area and do we push that 4.1 uh, or do we um push back down um that's going to be key to the coming uh, weeks um but yeah let's just look at uh, what the cpi uh, entailed um again the major categories include all items food energy um the food and energy is not counted because they don't believe um, it's something which they could control. Um, so they don't really count something like this. Um, so CPI for all items apparently rose by 0.4% um, in October on a seasonally adjusted basis. Um, but 
that's not the main thing we're looking at the main um, source of data we're looking at is uh, the 7.7 um, inflation rate um, again what a great return um, another thing uh, which we look at is that uh, all items less food and energy index rose 6.3 percent over the last three months um, so this is going up um, again if you look at here yeah, the food um, month on month 0.4 percent um, energy 1.8 so energy is a sector which um, I think we should uh, focus on, especially in the coming months in the stock market. Are there any long-term investment opportunities uh, within the sector um, in stock in the stock market, such as on stocks like I I I N N D um, and some other HUSA, so these oil and energy kind of uh, stocks. Um, so it's something which uh, we should note. Um, but yeah, um, a great great. Um, day was for us as well especially for us in the discord group um, we had a lot of uh, runners today with 21% on um, uh, one of our stocks um, it's such a great day um, but like I said guys um, just hit that subscribe button because I will be covering this a lot more hit up that subscribe button um, like um, share and comment what you think um, this means for the future uh, especially for the end of the year um, but like I said, um, as a day trader, I'm not too focused on the macroeconomic, but I do enjoy looking at uh, what's happening in the greater markets. Um, I'm focused on the intraday trend, and that's something I suggest for you guys to do for the coming months, because we are in such a critical stage uh, with the economy. Um, because guys, we cannot ignore what's happening, ex what's happening externally, especially with uh, the different issues surrounding the world currently. Um, so just because uh, we are at 7.7 percent this month. That doesn't mean next month it's going to be different uh, or the same. Um, as you know, not everything will stay the same in the market. The market could, one day it's at its highest, the next day it's at its lowest. So for you guys, do not, I still do not recommend investing in any long-term stocks. Um, so, um, yeah. Um, so remember guys, um, prepare every day the same. Wait and be patient. The trend is your best friend. And I cannot stress this enough. Um, we'll make money together. Um, no matter what happens um, but yeah nevertheless uh, what a great day with SPY finishing um, at a good uh, pace today plus 5.5 percent um, I'm really impressed with the way uh, the market did um, it was unseen um, and uh, yeah um, let's see what happens tomorrow um, uh, catch you guys tomorrow uh, in the discord if you're with me um, let's end the week strong um, do not rush into any plays do not panic into any plays we had an amazing week and I'll catch you guys in the next video thank you guys for tuning in and like and subscribe thank you